Before his Duluth rally, the president attended a private fundraiser in the Twin Cities. Of course, that was before anyone, including President Trump, knew about the COVID positive. And for those at the rally in Duluth, especially one Rochester woman, she said she'd do it again. Do you think you put yourself at risk? You know, we take risks every day, and I just feel that we have to live life, and it's in God's hand. And I really think that to shut down America and to shut down life and to shut down um, you know, society is not weighing out the odds with that. It's really important, I think, to look at the pros and cons of all that. But, you know, I talk about the mental health part of it. I work in a field where we see, you know, orders for, for funerals, you know, and, and suicides are very, very common right now. It's very hard. Um, along, doing... along those same lines, though, Martha, if people are dying from COVID, do you do the funerals for that? And does that make you think? It does, it does. But with that, you know, there's so much unknown that we don't know about COVID. So with the underlying factors, um, you know, is it truly a COVID related death or is it a truly COVID death, you know? And, and there is a risk with that. So I chose um, to put, you know, my best foot forward and to go see our president. Obviously, you know, he's working very hard for us. Uh, I feel that we owe it to him to support him, um, you know, and, and going forward, I wouldn't change anything. I, I really wouldn't. How close in proximity were you? Uh, we were about four or five rows back. Because I spoke to a reporter on Friday who was also there covering it, you know, for his job. And I asked him about not feeding into the fear of being in the same room and really far away, but people, once they hear somebody's had COVID, and you've even been anywhere within the vicinity, some people get very nervous about it. When you found out that the president had tested COVID positive and it was likely in or around his Duluth stop because of his aid, did that make you pause? Not at all. All I could think of was how one day it wasn't Duluth. We were outside at a venue. We weren't inside, we were outside at a venue. The wind is blowing, it's cold. Um, you know, the proximity, even um, how long he was there, quick landing, quick, you know, getting off and different things like that. No, not at all. Um, he works really hard for us. He's always on the road. He's always working. You know, I, I don't want to say he's putting himself out there at, at, in harm's way, but he really is. You know, I mean, he's not hunkered down. He's not hiding, you know, and, and different things. He's, he's our most visible person in our country right now. And to say that he was bound and determined to probably be exposed to it is probably an understatement. The critics are all over social media and they are raking him over the coals for so many things. When you read that, when you hear that, I know that it makes you angry. Uh, where do you stand today with what we have been hearing? He went in, a, not a motorcade, but he went in a vehicle and he's gotten very much criticized, even from the hospital administrator. Oh gosh, I tell you, that poor president, he can't do anything right right now.